Hello, in this video we're going to find the derivative of y with respect to theta, so dy d theta. So we have y equals the tangent squared of the sine of theta. So before we do this derivative, it might be helpful to think about this a different way. Solution. So I want to think about this like this. This is y equals tangent of the sine of theta. And the 2 here means it's squared. It's a shorthand notation, so it's really this. Okay. So now when we take the derivative, it's a little bit more clear that this is our inside function. And we're taking the derivative, and we have a composition of functions. So we're going to use the chain rule multiple times in this problem. So dy d theta. So you always start by differentiating the outside function and then leaving the inside function untouched. And then you go to the inside function. So like this, you bring down the 2. So you get 2 parentheses, 10 of sine theta. Okay, and then this is to the first power, times, and then now you multiply by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of tangent is secant squared, so this is secant squared of sine theta. And then now you multiply by the derivative of the inside again, so chain rule again. The derivative of sine is cosine. So it's just multiple applications of the chain rule. So you bring down the 2, subtract 1 from the exponent, then you go to the inside function, derivative of tan is secant squared, sine theta, then you go to the inside function, derivative of sine is cosine theta, and then you're done. The last thing to do is maybe erase this 1. So dy d theta. I'm actually going to put the cosine theta first. Then I'll put this one. Almost forgot my 2. Then I'll put this one here. Just rearranging the terms. It doesn't really matter how you write them. Could have just left it like this and scratched out the 1, and we would have been good. So that's it. That's the answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone who is learning. Good luck.